Mona, Richie, Robbie, and Ray. Episode 1, Be Still. Open on Interior First United Methodist Church Day. We're in an expensive white church full of expensive white people. Except for the black woman near the back. She is Mona Gaines. Good morning, good morning. Everyone's looking wonderful. I feel wonderful. And I thank God for you and my wonderful family. Now, God's got a wonderful word for you today. Yes, he does. Let us pray. The congregation closes their eyes and bows their heads as Reverend Humphreys prays. But Mona opens her eyes and focuses her attention across the aisle to Wallace Sheridan. His wife, Amber, suddenly looks up and locks eyes with Mona. Mona quickly looks away. Exterior, First United's parking lot after the service. Hi! We haven't really met yet. I'm Amber. I'm Mona. Oh, like Mona Lisa Mona? (laughs) No, like Ramona Mona. But everybody calls me Mona. Wow! Cool. Great. I, um, I, I love your dress. If I could just lose a few pounds. You have a great figure. You're too kind. You know, you always sit towards the back. I kind of get in late, so... We don't want you to feel like you have to sit in the back. You don't feel that way, do you? Nobody's made you feel like Rosa Sparks. Uh, I mean, Rosa Parks. Because you feeling comfortable and equal is very, very important to us. I don't feel like Rosa Sparks. I just want you to know I'm down with BLM, okay? That's right. Look. Look at my keychain. Oh, okay. And I bought it from an economically disadvantaged, disabled African-American woman. and she's That's your family, right? Yes. Wallace and our girls, they're growing up so fast. What about you? Got any family here? Oh, just me and my children. Ooh, how many? Three. Well, bring them down with you. We love to meet them. <laughs> okay. I'll bring them next Sunday. Interior, Den, Walena Waters' house, later. She did come to me. Really? Really, Walena? Really, really. If you have to say really three times, you're lying. I'm not lying. Tell me exactly what happened. I glanced in their direction and his wife looked at me. Damn it, Mona, I said let him come to his you. His wife came to me. You, I didn't do anything. You channeled her. My attention floated in their direction. You channeled her attention. That's why she looked at you. My attention floated like a big fat cloud. You looked directly at me when you said fat. Oh, so we both fat shit. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm big boned, curvy, honey. Now, you listen to me. All you have to do is be still. I knew you were going to say that. Why'd you let me say it then? I could have used my precious breath for something else. Like what? Something else. (laughs) Mona, you've got to be still. That's it. Oh, well, Lena, it's so hard doing nothing. You are doing something. You are absolutely doing something. You are doing something something. You're lying. Why would you say an awful thing like that? Because you said you're doing something three times. Oh, I can say anything three times and be telling the truth. It's you who's a three-peat liar. But now we're losing focus. Listen, you've put yourself in the direct position to receive favor. You will meet Wallace. He'll say, Interior Cafeteria Jackson Memorial Hospital. Walena's Vision. Mona and Wallace both reach for a sugar canister at the same time and then suddenly look up at each other. Don't I recognize you from somewhere? And you'll get to say, Oh, I think we might go to the same church. He'll be surprised that you've been at his church all this time, not knowing that you both work at the same place. You'll be surprised by his honesty. I hate church. I I don't hate God, just church, you know? And you should be honest with him. I don't like church either. He'll get the idea to check out how you've been doing. And then he will come to you. So look, there's a promotion coming up in your division. Really? Really, really? (laughs) Yes, really. Go on and apply for it. I'll make sure you get it. You're in your season of favor, Mona. All you have to do is just B. No more floating attention, which was actually channeling. But what does it matter? Just be. Okay? Okay, okay. 
how's my ray doing? Now, Mona, you know I'll have to charge extra for going into the dimension of the celestial. So charge me. Did he sing today? Mona waits for Walena. Walena waits for Mona. Mona realizes why Walena is just sitting there. She digs some cash out of her purse. Walena stuffs the money in her bra and then closes her eyes and concentrates for a moment. Stop looking at my mole. I can't help it. It's so ugly. I have to look at it. You seeing Ray? Is Robbie playing baseball now? I see him holding a baseball bat. No, but I, mean, I guess since Ray played, he wants to play too. Richie's going to lose his job. Shit, I didn't need a psychic to tell me that. You do know that I will cut you with the very knives I just bought off of HSN. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I do need you, Walena. You're the best psychic in Snailville. In this whole county. In all of Georgia. Now, about Ray, how, uh, how is he? He's singing. What's he singing? It's not a song with words. Oh, I know it sounds so beautiful. Interior, kitchen, Mona's house, new day. Wake up! Interior, Robbie's room. Robert, Robbie Gaines, sleeps on a bottom bunk bed. Clothes are piled up on the top bunk. Robbie, wake up. Breakfast is ready. Robbie? Robbie? Interior, living room. Richmond, Richie Gaines, is knocked out on the sleeper sofa. Sheets twisted all around his bare ass. Mona shakes him. Richie, wake up. What time is it? Time to get up. Where's your clothes? Fuck if I know. If I have my own room. Oh, maybe... walk around with your bare ass. Ugh, I don't care. Interior, kitchen. Robbie sits at the table with Mona. Breakfast, untouched. They've long figured out how to just sit through the silence. Richie comes in dressed in his burger joint uniform. A happy, smiling burger man pen is clipped to his shirt. He grabs the toast off of his and Robbie's plates, throws it away, and puts fresh slices in the toaster. Nothing's wrong with that toast. Where that paper? Something I need to sign. It's just a list of materials. We got to construct a cell. Oh, Robbie, I'm not good with glue and scissors. That's okay. Richie and Chastity are going to help me. Hmm. You still fooling around with that girl? You could do so much better. Kiara from my job is single. Kiara? Seriously, Mona? I like Chastity. I told you to stop calling me that. It's your name. Let's all be cool, okay? Eat the bacon. Waiting on the toast. And the bacon's cold. Richie puts Robbie's plate in the microwave. Mona sips her coffee. Robbie plays a game on his phone. They remain nestled in silence, relieved that no one is talking. Interior, Tamara's office. John H. Blake Middle School. Tika said it. That Shayla said that Mariah said that I was a whole IG, but I didn't say she was a hoe. Tika wants to fight me. Tika's supposed to be my best friend. Friends get into spats sometimes. You two will work it out. I never go around saying that. You know she touched Boogie Stick at the movies? No, I didn't know that. I never told nobody about that, Miss Hudson. Are you sure you didn't tell anybody? Yes. Because maybe you hypothetically told someone about your problems and that someone told another person and another person and another person and now the whole school knows you're going through a goddamn divorce. <laughs> but don't worry, everything's going to be all right. Interior, bathroom. <laughs> Is that you, Mrs. Hudson? Oh. Hi, Mrs. Blakely. You want to talk about it? No, I'm okay. If you want to talk about it, I'm here. I'm fine. Seriously. I don't want to keep you from your students. Oh, girl, they're fine. I can stay here to listen if you want to talk. And you should talk about it. Whatever it is. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Lakely. I don't. Want to talk about it? You sure? Because I want to listen. I mean, I want you to have somebody to talk to. <laughs> I'm okay. Seriously. I'm about to grab lunch. You want anything? Lunch? It's only like 9.30 a.m. Well, it's a working lunch. 
Call me if you want to talk. Bye, girl. Interior Patient Collections Department, Jackson Memorial Hospital. Girl, you hear about the guidance counselor at your son's school? What guidance counselor? Mrs. Hudson, girl! Her husband left her for the man they were doing threesomes with. Probably gossip. You should stop spreading it. You give me an update of the insured patients on payment plans, please. If it ain't guns in school, it's freak assholes. And they the teachers. Now, I ain't got a problem with threesome, personally. I've been in one or three myself. But, see, I, I ain't trying to be in nobody's school. Kiara, the printout, please. Oh, oh, look. Carmen just brought Denise into her office. That doesn't mean anything. No, boo-boo. It means she really making it clear who she want to take her place when she retire. They could be talking about anything. All I know is that promotion should be yours. It's my season of favor. I'm in position to receive it. What's coming to me will come. All I have to do is be still. Mm, that's deep. Let me IG that shit right now. Kiara whips out her iPhone, takes a few selfies, and then types as she heads to her desk. Mona stares at Carmen's door. Why hasn't Carmen asked her into her office? Maybe she should be a little worried? End of episode one. This episode was written, produced, and directed by me, Arethea Smith. Jordan Bennett composed the sound score and sound design. Leah Fleming voiced the narrator. Casey Grogan Wallace voiced Mona Gaines. Marcy Miller voiced Wallina Waters and Miss Blakely. Dejan Gale voiced Richie Gaines. Jaden Isaac voiced Robbie Gaines. Paris Sarter voiced Tamara Hudson and Kiara. John Palmieri voiced Reverend Humphreys and Wallace Sheridan. Heather Lieberman voiced Amber Sheridan. And I voiced Miss Freeman and Tarquisha. Taranisha. Oh yeah, beautiful name. This podcast was recorded at Global Podcast Studios. To learn more about this project, visit atlantascreenplay.com. That's atlantascreenplay.com. And remember to like us on your favorite podcast platform. 